Yeah, definitely. I feel like our team's a really a great rebounding team. We have a lot of guys that just like uh, rebounding the ball. Um, we have a lot of guys that are really good at boxing their man out and um, preventing them from getting the rebounds. Um, and we're, we're big, we're a physical team, and then that shows on the glass and shows up in the rebound stat. I think Matt stayed with you through the first 10 minutes of the first half. That seemed a little bit unusual. Is that what all went into that? Any idea? Um, I think just because uh, we're, we're pretty thin in the front court right now, when me and Caleb kind of play at the same time, um, if, if, if Trey K subs in, he's going to get Caleb, and then I'm just going to keep staying out there. I'm not. I'm not going to play him but play more minutes. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk to him about that. It's just if he wants to play me 10 minutes straight, I'm cool with playing 10 minutes straight. If he wants to sub me out, um, fine with getting subbed out. It's just Coach Paint's, Coach Paint's decision uh, at the end of the day. Braden, can you uh, kind of talk about the start there? Where you hit a couple threes. Uh, I think you went to the basket and got a layup. It seemed like you know that hot start just kind of fueled you throughout the, the duration of the game. Uh, I was just kind of glad one one went in. You know, um, had a couple of days where ball didn't go in, so got confidence up. So it was good to see those going. Yeah, for Caleb, just uh, the job you and Trey continue to do, just with Mason now. Um, it's kind of helping you guys. Uh, obviously, Zach talked about you guys being thin and you know down low there, but uh, mm -hmm. what's kind of helping you guys kind of find a rhythm, find a groove, and both of you guys have been playing effective these past two games. Yeah, um, kind of like I talked about, I've talked about before. Um, you know, playing with Z, it just makes it easy on us because he he um, demands so much attention, and so <clears throat> just with the way that he can pass out of the post, score all these things. Um, you know, we just kind of have to play off of him, and um, you know, we've been able to do that so far. Zach, like not that you're unaccustomed to, to getting double teaming a lot of attention, but do you feel like you're getting even more attention recently? People defense throw more at you. Um, yeah, I think it just comes down to teams like really scouting me uh, hard. Um, you know, th this year I'm kind of like the number one option on the team, so teams are going to focus their kind of game plans defensively around me. Uh, some teams choose to leave me one on one. Some teams choose to double. Um, we'll figure out. We'll kind of find that out pretty early, and uh, we just play off that. Like today, they doubled me, so I've tried to find the open man. I found Caleb a few times. Found some open three pointers, three point shooters. Found Fletch a few times. Um, so just kind of playing however they decide to play me. We'll just play off of that. Uh, for Braden, they found a little success during the first half with Marshall. Uh, did they just find some matchups? Did he just kind of get hot? What all went into that? I mean, he had some tough shots. I mean, we're playing good defense. He got loose a little bit, but I think overall, I mean, defensively we were fine. Um, he's hitting shots and we're contesting it. So just uh, high five him and move on. Uh, this is for anybody. Um, obviously, this team is very unselfish. It's it's different guys up here every single night. Um, how much has that led to your success? Where you know. Zach is going to get his points and boards, but it's going to be two, three different guys every single night that, that get double figures or get five or six assists or whatever it might be. Um, I think it's just something we all kind of, I don't know, it started in practice the first day. We all just kind of clicked like that. Um, we're all unselfish. We all enjoy being like that, you know, just finding the extra guy. Um, obviously, we're going to get it, Z the ball when we can, and he's going to make plays, and he's going to have those big nights. That's what we want. Because then when that happens, they double team. He's good enough to make the pass out. And then we'll kick it out and swing one more and knock down the three. So it's su super helpful when that happens. And just being able to have those unselfish teammates, it's also really fun to play with. Braden, the success you and Fletcher have had the last couple of games, getting to the basket, getting in the lane and whatnot, are things opening up a little bit because of the way people are guarding Zach? Or um, is it just you guys being opportunistic or, or what? 100%. Um, I mean, he's, he's doing his thing. And then when he can't do his thing, he, get, he finds us. And then we're able to make plays and drive closeouts and uh, uh, score around the basket. Uh, for Braden and Caleb, I'm just kind of curious, you know, what you see in the other in opposing players' eyes when they're going up against a guy like Zach and what it's like to play with him. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's not fun. Uh, I don't have fun guarding him in practice, so I can't imagine what, what they go through. But um, – yeah, you know, just kind of like like I said, it's it's super easy to play with Z. Um, you know, you just got to keep playing off of him, um, you know, and trusting him to make the right decisions, make the right reads, whether it's scoring, passing out, um, or anything else, which so far he's done. Caleb, this is kind of an off-the-wall question, but they passed out the Elf posters tonight. <laughs> Obviously, everybody loves the vignettes. How much fun did you have doing that, and did you feel like, 
I've got to give these fans a show tonight because, you know, they're really into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it was fun to make, obviously. Um, you know, Chris Foreman's done a great job of kind of orchestrating all of it. Uh, Andrew Bay, our uh, videographer, and just all the other people involved, too. So it, it was their idea, and they just kind of pitched it to me. And so I was, I was on board, and so it, it was fun.